Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I haven't made a video lately. Um, I am getting over a cold and a cough, so I might sound sick, but I feel so much better and I decided I wanted to make a video today. So today we are doing 10 beauty items that I no longer buy. I decided to live a more sustainable lifestyle a couple years back and these are the transitions that I've made. I just wanted to give you guys a little idea of things I use in my beauty routine and hygiene that were really easy transitions and I can't wait to show you guys, so let's just go ahead and get into the video. The first one is a simple swap I made from body wash to bar soap. So I use little soap bars like this. I used to be that type of girl that would buy all the different scented body washes. I would get all the different scents and all the brands that are out there. But you guys, this is a really great first step because you eliminate so much plastic waste just by switching over to bars like these. They usually come wrapped in paper and that paper can just be composted or recycled. And then you'll have this bar that you can use. The next thing that I do not purchase anymore is traditional floss. And that is because I use the Lucky Teeth brand floss. And so what it is, is bamboo floss. Um, they add tea tree oil and peppermint for the scent and taste. They also add activated charcoal and plant wax to give it that waxy feel so it glides over your teeth. And you guys, those are literally the only ingredients in this floss. This floss can be composted. I throw it right in my compost once I'm done using it. It deteriorates in about 60 to 90 days. And as you can see, the container is glass and then the lid is aluminum. And you can actually reuse this container for the rest of your life. You just buy the refills inside. And the refills are shipped to you in paper. So like I said, there's no waste to this. And if you can see here, um, it has a little hole for the floss to come through and then it has that little sharp piece to cut off the floss to the length that you need. So I really, really enjoy this floss and I will never go back. And I forgot to mention this brand is cruelty free, vegan, and organic. The next thing that I do not use anymore is traditional cotton pads. Um, I know you guys use those white cotton pads that come in the long plastic bag. Just switch over to these reusable ones. I got these, honestly, I think I got them off of Amazon. I would actually suggest checking on Etsy though because they make a lot of them homemade on there. I've probably had them for over a year now. I use them for my toner. You can also use them to remove nail polish and then you just throw them in the wash and they come out brand new. The next thing that I do not purchase anymore anymore are those plastic tongue scrapers that you can buy from Colgate. Honestly, I don't really think that tongue scrapers are necessary because you can always use your toothbrush just to scrub your tongue. But if you do enjoy buying those, I would suggest one of these. All these products, I'll try to link them down below or I'll try to find alternatives. But this is made from medical grade surgical steel. It's going to last a lifetime as long as you take care of it and don't let it rust. You start in the back of your tongue and just scrape it down. So if you like having a little extra thing like this in your beauty routine then I would suggest something like this. So now I'm going to talk about some feminine products. The next thing that I do not buy anymore is tampons. I've probably had this for three years now. It is the Diva Cup. This is what mine looks like. This thing is so much better than tampons in my opinion because it can last up to 12 hours without needing to be taken out and cleaned. So that's a lot longer than a tampon. A tampon's usually around four hours where you need to take it out and insert a new one. They sell different sizes depending on if you had a child or if you're older or younger. So you always find one that fits. There is a bit of a learning curve with this, just like any other item that you would use, like a tampon. But once you get the hang of it, you guys it's so easy once you have it in you do not feel it and honestly I look forward to using this every single month I do not mind my period at all and this product right here has made it that much better if you guys haven't looked into this I highly suggest that you do if you guys want a separate video more in depth on the diva cup I can definitely do that for you because I feel like I just have so many good things to say about this continuing on with feminine products another thing I do not buy anymore is pads and that is because I purchased some reusable pads and that is what I've been using. They look like this. This is how they look folded up. I got these... I think I also got these off of Amazon, but I know you can get these on Etsy. They have a little button here. They look pretty homemade, so I might have got them off of Etsy, but I don't remember. And then you just open it like this, and then it's a pad. And then you just stick that on your underwear like you would a normal pad. And then you can flip these wings around, and then you can snap it. So that it stays in place so these are really really cute i love that little detail that they added with these snaps and then you can just roll it up like this and button right back up this is how i have them stored 
So what I like to do with these is I like to use them in conjunction with my cup. This is optional, but this is what I like to do. So I like to wear these at night because I like to give my body a rest from the cup. You can also throw these on as like panty liners and wear them every single day if that's something that you like to do. So these are really great to have. You can also make them yourself if you're good at sewing. Okay, so the seventh beauty product I do not buy anymore is Q-tips. I ordered these again off of Amazon. This is the brand Eder Ederudi. I don't know. I'll write the name of the brand down below because I really, I don't know how to pronounce that. If you open it up, it has these little tools that you use to clean out your ears. I don't know why it comes with so many because I honestly just needed one. And it's got a little scraper like this. Honestly, it's more satisfying than a regular cotton swab. Because I feel like with the cotton swab, you're only getting like moisture out, but you're not really getting the walls. And this will scrape all the dead skin on the outside of your ear, just right here too. I like to use it just to get out any um, dry skin in the crevices of my ear. And you obviously want to be careful, but you'll get used to it. And you just scrape out around the canal of your ear. You want to be gentle, obviously, because it is metal. But this thing is awesome and I feel like it gives me a better clean than a cotton swab would. And it also has other sides, but I don't really use these sides. It's kind of more of like a Q-tip shape, so you can use that side if you're more comfortable. There's a lot of options here in this little set. There's this one. Honestly, the only one I've ever used is this, and this works just perfectly for me. But you might like one of these other options. I know there's other options out there if you're not into this. I think there's this brand called The Last Cotton Swab. I'm not sure, but I'll link them down below, and I think that's a really great option for you as well. This next one is going to fill in two spots on this list. So another thing I don't buy anymore is makeup wipes. And that is because I do oil cleansing to remove my makeup. So what I do is I use an oil instead of makeup remover. That could also be on the list. I don't use makeup remover. I use oil. It does an amazing job to break down your makeup. So I just take some on my fingers and just massage it into my skin. It's very gentle because you're not scrubbing your skin with a wipe. Oil just does the job on its own. And then once I get it all rubbed into my skin, I'll use a washcloth. I get the washcloth wet first and then I just use that to remove all the oil and the makeup will come off with it including waterproof mascara. So obviously you can use this over and over again. I have one of these by my sink. I use it for the entire week to remove my makeup. And then I just throw it in the wash and it comes out clean like this all over again. I've had these for a while now, a couple years, and they're still going strong. So this is a great, great option. And so the ninth thing that I don't purchase anymore are those plastic body scrubbers. You guys know the ones that I'm talking about. Um, I used to buy those all the time. I loved it. I still like the um, abrasiveness that it would give, but I started using, again, a washcloth for that. So I just take my bar soap, rub it on here. Obviously, my washcloth would be wet because I'm in the shower, and then just use that to scrub my body. It does get some getting used to because you got to get a good grip of your um, washcloth to be able to do it. But you guys, it does the same job. Again, these are reusable forever and ever. You can also look into buying natural loofahs. Loofahs are actually made out of a type of gourd and they are actually compostable. So look into loofahs, just make sure it's a natural loofah and that it doesn't contain any plastic. That might be a good option for you. And the last thing I have for you guys is multi-purpose. One thing I don't buy anymore is lotion. I buy oil instead. So in this case, I have this big tub of coconut oil. If you guys don't already know, aluminum and glass are the two most recycled materials out there and they can be recycled infinitely. So you can recycle glass over and over and over again to make new products as well as aluminum. So I use this as my lotion. I slather it all over my body. You can use it for so many things besides that. You can use it as a lip moisturizer, cuticle oil, hand cream, neck cream. You could use it in your hair. This tub will go a long way. All right, guys, so that was 10 beauty items that I no longer buy. I really hope you enjoyed this video. I have so many more things that I could have included in this video, so I might actually make this a part one and then make other parts in the future. I also want to do other categories that are not beautiful 
beauty related like maybe things I no longer buy in the kitchen maybe pet products that I no longer buy so I really want to make this a whole series to give you guys more ideas on swaps that you can make to be more sustainable and it is doable as long as you just take it one product at a time after all these years I have accumulated all of these things so I am sitting like this because my foot fell asleep but I love you guys and I will see you guys in my next video bye